Welcome back to Let's Play Blood Will Tell. Today we'll be going into the Bamboo Thicket. Although not immediately, as you can see. Just take a long trek around this giant village. Yeah, I think you called it last time. There's a uh, sort of shrine area over here. Um, you might have suspected that there was a hidden fiend over here, and you'd be correct. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. It's been quite a while. <laughs> But I'm sure there's a hidden fiend in this shrine-looking place over here. After wow, you destroy that's prophetic that. of you. Oh my god, look at this. Just have to fight a world one. Oh, never mind. Eh, it's got spinning involved. Now this guy's pretty tough. Level 6 is way above us. So what I've done is I've gone back to the chapter after completing it. And uh, we're fighting this guy on a replay with a slightly more powerful Hayakimaru. And Dororo's here for some reason. <laughs> Doro, useless. He's not going to accomplish a single thing here. Yeah, exactly. He's just going to get the hell beat out of him. What are those masks called? Um, these masks? I'm not sure have a specific name. I actually don't know much about the uh, cultural references of this particular boss. Hmm. Let me get back on it. I, I can't. I can't remember the yeah, name. Yeah, it's of familiar. It. It's it's oddly familiar. It's like Hanzo mask or. Maybe. Uh, you might be thinking of Hattori Hanzo. <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's uh, Osamu Tezuka's ancestor. What's he famous for? He's a famous samurai. Oh. Really? Yeah. So the guy who made this is actually related to a real samurai. Yeah, related to one of the most famous samurai in history. Who, um, in fact, was fabled to have... Um, telekinetic and precognitive powers, much like Yakimaru does. Coincidence? Wow. I think not. <laughs> so this is, uh, what would you say it was his father? I'm sorry. I was... It was a distant ancestor. He oh. lived in the 1500s. Oh. I don't know why I just said father. <laughs> <laughs> it was his father from, like, 30s? Um, he was alive in the 30s, so... Oh. His father must have been alive in the 1800s. They had, uh, yeah, weren't the samurai around for... I guess we're like... We're... This is my Rurouni Kenshin knowledge coming out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know probably not act. myself, so... Yeah. Um, a little bit about this boss before we kill him, though. Yeah. Um, if we hadn't come here with, uh, you know, level 10 Hyakimaru, as opposed to what we would have been in, uh, in the actual video, we wouldn't have been able to do any damage, and we would have been taking about a quarter of our health bar every time we got hit, which would have killed us by now. So it's pretty impossible to fight anybody unless you're leveled up. It's yeah. intensely tedious. It's not worth watching. Plus, I died while recording it, so. <laughs> and uh, mostly, he uh, you want to wait for this red phase where he spins around. He does a 360 degree fire spin, <laughs> which always ends in the same place that it starts. Dororo. And it always goes the same direction. <laughs> you can just watch Dororo get burned. Dororo cool. doesn't know the pattern <laughs> at all. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you basically just want to move slightly to the right after he starts and uh, hit him as much as you want. Um, his blue face is his weak spot, but um, he runs away when he's got his blue face out, so it's not very useful. He had a third leg. Yes, he did. <laughs> Yeah, I went there. Classy. wonder what uh, body part he's going to get this time. Something in his chest. His chest? <laughs> Something like... Well, that's what he's grabbing. It's actually in his back. His traps, bro. <laughs> Muscle that supports head, neck, shoulders, and arms. Yeah, it actually would be very useful to have this for the rest of the chapter, but we do not. It would be very useful to have that as a person. Indeed. Bamboo thicket. So now we're finally going where we should have gone in the first place. What did the troll mean by shiny? Guess I have to find something shiny in this bamboo thicket. Huh? Did you say bamboo thicket enough in this video? <laughs> bamboo thicket counter. And we're reunited with the troll. Our good friend. He's going to be a ghostly apparition leading us through this forest area. Um, the troll is actually called Kanekozo in the manga, which means money urchin. 
obviously because the villagers think that he's stealing their money. Obviously he is. Yeah. We're about to find out just how much he's stealing it. <laughs> Do you want some? <laughs> As he runs he's away. Gonna, he's gonna keep asking us that while he uh, leads us by the nose. Is that the only thing he says? Pretty much. Wow. Yeah. So it's kind of... So, yeah, while we're following his trail, we might as well talk about some more differences that the manga has from the uh, video game. For example, uh, there's no mention in the manga of Hyakimaru being the Child of Light, or the Chosen One, or whatever the hell. So he's not... he's not Neo? Yeah. He's not special. <laughs> <laughs> what that basically means is uh, the demons don't seek out his father at all. He seeks the demons out. Hmm. Yeah. So it's not different at all. Yeah, the, well, there's no corruption involved. There's He's the evil one. He wants to sell his son's body parts for power. Hmm. Yeah. Dick. And, uh... Yeah, he ends up thrilled when uh, Hyakimaru comes out looking like the baby from Eraserhead. Because that basically means that his check cleared. Hmm. And that means he's going to be super powerful for the rest of his life. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah. In general, the manga's a lot darker. And, uh, like, Jukai, um, after he rebuilds Hyakimaru, um, the demons start attacking his house. There's, like, no divine voice that says, Hyakimaru, you have to go fulfill your destiny. Yeah. Jukai just says, get out before the demons kill me. Huh. So he fits Hyakimaru with sword arms, and, uh, Send ships him, him off to war. <laughs> Send you on your merry way now. Yep. So, uh, it's bleak, but it also has a weird sense of humor and, like, the cutesy art style, so yeah. it's totally inconsistent. Well, you sent me one slide, uh, I forgot what the, <laughs> I forgot what it said, something about butts, right? <laughs> it was, uh, Dororo saying, uh, he was holding a skull and saying, so that's why my butt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Which was hilarious out of context to me. Yeah. I, d I just saw you send that to me. And, I mean, it looked just like Astro Boy, which mm -hmm. is, I guess, he, like we said before, he did that too. Yep. So yeah, you can imagine it's pretty jarring, but it's, it's super bleak, and uh, it gets pretty soul-crushing if you read it for a long period of time. Yeah. Do you want some? We're about to get some. <laughs> We're right at the end of our journey into the family. Reminds me of... I just saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Hmm. And, uh, it's related. <laughs> I believe you. Um, there's one character that keeps saying, I am Groot. Yeah, voiced over by over. Um, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, God, he didn't fuck up his line. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I man. I'm to say the same three words over and over again. That's great, but yeah, it just reminded me of that I keep hearing it. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that's an awesome effect the only time you do it in the game? No, they use it a bunch, of course. So I guess this is what the troll was talking about. I don't get it, though. Damn it! Let me go! Dororo! Hang on! I'm coming for you! And we finally caught up in the timeline to where Dororo got kidnapped. They're trying to execute him? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell no. That's something that happens all the time in the manga as well. Everyone's trying to kill Dororo all Why? the time. Why? <laughs> because he's an annoying dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're out of the bamboo thicket again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they teleported us right out, which is nice. Sometimes the they don't do that, they make you backtrack all the way through. What was the point of following the guy then? Uh, to find the uh, hidden stash. That shiny bit that uh, he told us to go find. Hmm. Now that we know about that, we can tell the villagers. <laughs> they if totally... they don't kill Dororo first. Yeah. But along the way, there's all these little glowing orbs that I must collect. <laughs> Why? These little floating balls are, uh, they're called Jukai's Medicine. When you get a hundred of them, they resurrect you on the spot if you die. Uh, is they're that like Phoenix a, uh, Down? Yeah, Phoenix Down, or a Bottled Fairy, or... Whatever the hell. If you want to compare Bottle, the two. Bottle Fair is a lot better. Yeah. Or like a Metroid uh, energy tank. It's all good. Or a Mega Man energy tank. Well, sort of. Those you have to use. 
close enough. Well, I guess you gotta use a Phoenix down too, you know, have to, it's not auto. True. But this is a stupid argument. <laughs> <laughs> or conversation. Yeah, the point is you gotta collect a hundred yeah. of them. If then... you don't get there in time. There's no reason for which you wouldn't get there in time. Three minutes is way longer than you need. Did you try it? Uh, no. Aw. Oh. I'm disappointed. I would assume they just uh, give you a game over. What happens if you assume you're wrong? Well then, I missed a cutscene of Dota getting <laughs> beat to death. <laughs> That's all I wanted to see. If only. It's pretty, pretty vicious plants over here. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the resistance is pathetic but obnoxious as we make our way here, but we finally are at the point of no return. Cleared. Done. Whoa! That's yeah, messed up. Gonna make a pinata out of him. <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? Just who do you think you are, sneaking into Mistress Yudai's house? You don't know who I am? I'm the world famous thief Dororo! World famous thief? What's this fool talking about? You are out of luck. Mistress Yudai has spent all of her own money helping us. I'm afraid she has nothing left to steal. Now tell us what the troll told you. Tell us everything or you'll regret it. Dororo! Sorry to keep you waiting. What took you so long? Answer me this. Who is that woman you die? And what exactly is the troll? Mistress Yudai is a saint who has taken pity on this village. She has done much for us. She has helped us in ways you cannot imagine. If she's so rich and compassionate, why is this village still so poor? It doesn't add up. <laughs> Literally. Sometimes a terrible demon ravages the village and steals our money. If it wasn't for Mistress Yudai, we'd all be dead by now. Exactly what kind of demon? I've never gotten a good look, but it's a disgusting looking creature. I didn't look at him, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. he looks ugly as fuck. It's a lot like that demon that attacked us in the well. What do you know about the troll? I'm afraid we don't know much about it. We have been told to bring anyone who sees the troll to Mistress Yudai. Mm. Well, it told me something you might find interesting. Huh? You want some? <laughs> He came to me and said, <laughs> Oh my god. So I said, if it's free, I'll take whatever you've got. Then he told me about a rather interesting place. Where? Follow me. I don't think so. How are we gonna get Got him on board. <laughs> right? That, that dude with the club is like, Fuck yeah, I'm in for this shit. <laughs> I'm going to that bamboo thicket at another end of the counter. I'm just joking. But, uh... That dropped us off right in front of the uh, place we need to go, so... So this game's not a dick about it? It's often not a dick about it, but we'll be seeing later in this very chapter that sometimes it is. <laughs> That's an awesome, fun... I almost said backflip and <laughs> totally tried to correct myself. It's the troll! Oh my god! You Roll away! Oh my god. Everyone wait! The troll, he's trying to show you something. How do you kill that thing? We just did. Oh, wow, that was easy. Yep. All right, everyone, dig. It's money. We found our money. It's the money that demon stole from us. This isn't a dream, right? I can't believe it. Our money. It looks like all huh. Who hid the money here, Yaki? I think I have an idea who. Huh? Run! There's a demon coming!
conveniently timed fiend attack. Holy crap. Yeah, the Hell Crusher. <laughs> Rather intimidating name for a level 4 demon. It's also uh, almost a Megadeth song name. <laughs> almost. It's a head crusher. Close enough. I'm sure there's a million Metal songs with <laughs> Crusher in the name. And Hell. <laughs> and also Hell. But we're not really metal fans anyway, so what the hell would we know? Yeah, we don't care for metal. What's up, sarcasm? <laughs> Somebody watching this. So this is a rather pathetic fiend, I gotta say. It seems like it should be uh, pretty awesome, but... Yeah, he's imposing, but... Uh, yeah, Doro's fucking him up. His description is hilarious. It says his club will destroy literally anything it hits. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get whacked with it a few times. It's a no avail. That move there, it's his desperation move, like most fiends have. And, uh. I'd be desperate as fuck, too, if, like, both my health bars went away in a second. <laughs> yeah, we tore him apart. There's no way not to just destroy him easily here. It's just a distraction. And unfortunately, because he's such a terrible boss, the body part he gives us is also terrible. You got your femur back, buddy. Right in the middle of our chest. Really. <laughs> Wait, was it? <laughs> oh yeah, it was kind of grabbing his chest, but still, yeah. yeah. The it's esophagus. the esophagus, which does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty great. Be... Oh yeah, well, I guess it literally does nothing. Yep. Meanwhile. You have retrieved your money? Yes. A traveling warrior discovered it buried in a bamboo thicket. I see. In a bamboo thicket, you say? Well, that is lovely. I am afraid we have been such a burden on you, Mistress Yudai. Do not worry about it. You may take your leave. Yes, milady. The troll isn't a demon. It's more like a money spirit. It just wanted someone to dig up the money and use it like it's meant to be used. The money's been dug up so it won't come back again. Who are you anyway? Behold! He who stands before you is neither demon nor beast. He is the great warrior Hiyakimaru. He travels throughout the lands, defeating demons wherever he goes. And I am his trusty sidekick. Dororo, that's enough. What can you tell me about you? I wanted to see where that was going. She has been looking after this <laughs> that seriously got... The days of my that started getting me, man. Your great yeah, daughter was a great orator. <laughs> Both are very hard words to say. That's why she does an age. An angel? Our great-grandfathers built this village, but it was attacked by a demon. It destroyed their homes, took all their money. It left them with nothing. Then, Mistress Yudai came and blessed them with donations. With that money, our great-grandfathers rebuilt the village. The demon always returned, but Mistress Yudai always helped us. The village has survived, and things are getting better. That Yudai lady is a fraud. That, that's absurd! Come on, what sort of fraud gives away money? This entire village is cursed by a demon. I can sense it. Was all the money returned to its rightful owners? Yeah. Then the monster will probably appear again and attack the village. Uh, can't be. What? I don't believe we it. must set up defenses tonight. Dororo, go to Yudai's manor and see if you can find out anything about her. Uh-huh. If you find anything suspicious, call to me in your mind. My mind? Just shout my name inside your head. Trust me, I'll hear you. I gotcha. This is a little ninja. First, I need to find proof that Yudai is stealing everyone's money. I just need to find some money that seems out of place. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, our little Go buddy's back. gonna head into Yudai's house to prove to the dumbest village in the world that she's evil. I mean, if he needs to find money that's out of place, you know, it's the bamboo thicket over there. <laughs> you think that was proof enough, but no. 
We have to fight it on Yudai's person. That's the smoking gun. Hmm. So it's back to the well. That's a horrible idea. Yeah, I agree. A little note about uh, loading screens. There's been about a dozen per video so far that I've been cutting out. They average about, uh, I'd say, six seconds. So about a minute 20 per video has been uh, pure loading. Hmm. Yeah. It's actually not too bad. They space them out well enough that it usually doesn't break flow. Some of them are pretty bad. I was, I was so hoping you would die right there. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you. Oh my god. I'm just going to fail on jumping <laughs> up this ledge four times in a row. So remember when I said that uh, sometimes they're not so nice about putting us right where we need to be? Yeah. They're doing it right now. Huh. Yeah, I guess. Is that a sword? That's a sword floating right in the middle there. What are you doing? I kinda... I screwed up, I went too far back and the camera changed, so I wasted a couple seconds. And uh, I didn't want to plummet to my death while I was uh, jumping across. Of course. Call me a coward. Coward. Thank you. So we gotta refight these guys to get the dumb waiter moving again. Dororo punch. Dororo punch. Yeah, it's not invincibility this time, it's defense up instead. That's still good. But it'll get the job done. We didn't use it last longer. time. Yeah, we didn't use it at all, so. Oh, uh, double kill. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the rocks are extremely effective against these weak enemies. Don't mess with me. As are all the punches. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Dumbwaiters always remind me of this uh, Goosebumps book that I read, where like uh, they were in a haunted house and they dared a kid to go in the Dumbwaiter, and uh, when he got out the other side, it was just um, a bunch of wrapped bowls, and uh, inside were his heart and his eyes and his tongue. What the hell? Yeah. Sometimes Goosebumps was gross, and that freaked me out as a kid. And these little subtitles are, um, if you press the O button, which normally controls Dororo, mm -hmm. when he's alone, uh, he just has little subtitle lines that he's saying to himself. That's kind of cool. Yeah, little thought bubbles. Hyakumato has them too when he's alone. That's kind of like um, that game Heavy Rain where you could like, you push a button, like all your thoughts appear around your head and then you could pick them. It's kinda oh like, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. They probably got it from those. Almost certainly. <laughs> Probably not. They probably never even heard of this game either. I would bet. <laughs> Heavy Rain probably has never heard of a good game. I'll get caught True story. <laughs> At least you have a choice. Yep. We Ooh. actually... Yeah, we can't go in there. It's a little ninja go, though. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Random zombie samurai. Yeah, I don't mind uh, Dororo segments. They're not the best part of the game, obviously, but... Uh, they don't completely suck. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, this one gets tiresome because we're going to have to do it, like, six times in a row. Right now. Are you serious? Yeah. This one is the worst one in the game. By a wide margin. Hmm. It's obviously so, a smart creation design to make you kind of hate it in the beginning, so all the other yeah. ones are like way better. Exactly, it's baffling. And the the problem with it is that it's intended to be frustrating. <laughs> so we started in the beginning, and we go all the way here to the farthest end of the uh, mansion, so that we can get to this door. Then we get to a cutscene. A very short cutscene. It's it two salamanders. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that symbol means, if anything, but... It's something about Illuminati Gila monsters. Almost certainly. Most certainly. I think this is the first time we've been uh, poisoned. Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, turning Dororo that sickly purple. What it does is it uh, slows him down. Hmm. It's annoying. In combat, it can be dangerous. Yeah. Hey, there's some money! Wait! What's in this bag? A human head. More money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I knew you'd like that. Bag. Mokube. This is the money stolen from the villagers. This proves you die is crooked. Hmm. 
Which means we've probably got a fight with a demon on our hands. I should look for a weapon. You just picked up a sword. <laughs> oh, there's a weapon. Got some smoke bombs? People. That's not what he, he was talking about, though. Why she steal smoke bombs? Um, well, throwing items. That's no, I mean, I mean, no, not not Dora, like the. the oh, you die? Yeah, like, well, <laughs> the smoke bombs. Really, anything inside this mansion doesn't make much sense storyline-wise. But uh, like I said, we went all the way to the end of the mansion, as far away as possible. <laughs> Ran to a corner for like three seconds. Way. Yeah. Also, the cameras are really, really bad in Dororo sections. That's a recurring theme. Ooh. Yeah, Dororo has this excellent dash move, which I forgot about until just then. <laughs> so now we came all the way back here. We got to use the smoke bombs to knock out the guard. Got to do the old style, huh? Yeah, menu navigation. I looked around the controls to see if there was a way to uh, switch things um, using like the D-pad or something, but there isn't, unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> These are some powerful smoke bombs. It's like a freaking cannon was getting lost out there. Yeah, they're so powerful they evaporated the guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely asleep. It's a level 4 key card. Yeah. And you know what that means. Boss fight? We're going... No, we're going all the way back to where <laughs> we just were. <laughs> that dash is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty great. It makes this tolerable. I actually didn't know about it my first time through. Fighting enemies, like, um... Do you get any experiences, Dora, or...? Nope, there's no reason to do it. Uh, so that dash move is the best. Yep. Allows you to just run past them. You'll still get clipped every so often, but uh, totally worth it. It's not worth worrying about. There's the weapon we need. The hell? It's like Ultima weapon. It's pretty fancy. Hmm. This. Arrow looks ancient, but it's being kept in such a nice display. It's got to be powerful. Hiyaki might need it. And if not, I'm sure a relic like this could fetch a hefty price. It's just plastic, man. It's a novelty toy. It's almost night. I should check up on you, Dai, to see if she's up to anything. It's probably a bad idea, huh? <laughs> Somewhat. So that whole arrow business, it's not in the manga at all. And um, Mokube, who he mentioned after um, finding the money, uh, it's specifically noted in the manga that Mokube's entire family was killed by the Scourge. <laughs> <laughs> I love happy endings. Yep. Pretty much everyone in the manga who isn't uh, Hyakimaru and Dororo, they just die. That's it's how it goes, great. though. The symbols, the symbols on the wall, they kind of look like animals for a second. Like There's like a little head. Yeah, I can see that. Or they look like, like two a, people hugging, like on their knees. Crude. Hmm. On like one angle, you'll see it. It's a Rorschach test, I gotcha. Yeah, pretty much. So, we've looped the mansion three times now, just to get back where we started. Your max health has gone up. That's all you needed. Hmm, this looks like a part of that monster that attacked us. Which one? Uh, the Scourge, from the very beginning. What? Really? Very beginning. Yeah, The big bug guy. She's not even here. Good. Well done, Dororo. I don't remember. You will. I'm sure I will. Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, Earthquake. Am I gonna, like, find out right now? Uh, no. No. Uh, that is him, but we can't see him. Him or her? The mucus trail I mean, the, the Scourge, who knows? Oh. It's a big bug. There. I can't really tell. Bamboo Thicket. Back to the thicket with us. The only thing I gotta say, every time I see Hyakimaru, I the symbols the look like the, the uh, Soviets. They look like the Soviet uh, thing, you know, hammer and sickle, real quick. Interesting. That's just me. Hey, the video's almost over. <laughs> yep, yeah, next time we're heading back to the thicket. Later.